Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey. Welcome to today's vlog. It is um, Sunday the 27th, I think, of August. And I thought we'd do a vlog today because <laughs> we haven't done one in a very long time. And Little Miss has been such a legend the, the last little bit. Um, yeah, we went to Arcachon yesterday, which is uh, the closest kind of beach to Bordeaux. And it was a really long day and she kind of missed out on her afternoon nap because we were on the train coming back. And then when we got back, it was like 34 degrees in Bordeaux, so it was really hot. And um, and yeah, she, she did so well. Um, and then this morning we woke up at 9.30. She let us sleep until 9.30 this morning, which was just... I didn't, I didn't know that could happen with a one-year-old. I really didn't. I was like, what? It was amazing. So, so yeah, so that's what happened. We headed to London on Tuesday in two days time. So yeah, it's a bit of a whirlwind at the moment. We are going to London to try and get another 30 day Schengen visa because, um, Tuesday will be the 90th day that we've been in Europe. Um, and oh, you okay, Bubs? And we've tried various times to get um, a carte de sejour to stay in France, and we've just come up against a lot of resistance. So, um, we are going to try this instead, and we'll see what happens. It's you. It's your favourite lady. Okay. Yeah, it's you and mummy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. And seeing as it is so late, we should probably have your breakfast. You a bit hungry, little miss? <laughs> yes. Let's have some breakfast and some water. I just thought I'd mention, because we're doing a load of washing, which little miss is helping with. Aren't you? You're such a good helper these days. Um, this is what I've used um, since we've been in Europe because it's been really helpful. Uh, just, and I don't know how widely available this product is, but I thought I'd give it a bit of a spruce because, um, not endorsed in any way, uh, but it's been really handy because we just travel with this in our luggage and it's kind of, um, just unscrew the lid and it's kind of just like a glue stick almost of um of stuff and then you just put it on stains the baby stains it's mostly baby stains but there's a few few times i've stained stuff too um and it just means that you don't have to wash things straight away as well um baba uh so yeah it you can leave the, the stain up to seven days, supposedly, but I've left, I, can't, I don't know if I've left things more than that, but it's really good and it just acts as a stain remover as well, so I don't have to use additional products when I'm washing, which is great. And just, it's so compact as well, so just, just, just a little mention. All right, time to put it all in the wash. Can you help me with that? Hey, we're gonna wash. Open the door. Yeah. Can you put it in for me? Yeah, good work. Hey, we might you might need a little bit of help, hey? Okay. So little miss has gotten pretty good with the spoon these days. Hey, you can get it in the bowl. <laughs> you chewing on the spoon. Get it in the bowl. And get some food and put it in your mouth. Yeah. So she can pretty much feed herself now. She needs a little bit of help occasionally, but she does really well. <laughs> Which is pretty amazing for us. Um, we can, it means we can set her up with some finger food, mo mo more often finger food, um, uh, when we're out 
at lunch and um, just let her go for it sort of thing and we can eat our lunch and it's pretty fantastic. We're enjoying a pretty amazing time at the moment. Like I said, with the sleep this morning, she's just been such a champ. She's just been a, a really joyful child to parent. Um, yeah, she's just, just a dream child at the moment. Hopefully it stays this way. Um, according to the Wonder Weeks app, we're in the, the, the last sunny period before her final leap. Um, so yeah, it, the, the rest of her sunny periods, I don't know that we found particularly aligned with those in, in the, the app, but um, this one for sure. And yeah, it's, it's crazy to think that she's only got one more leap to go. She's 15, 15 months old on Tuesday. Hey, you're so old, Bubba. <laughs> you're growing up so fast. But yeah, it's the way life is. Meanwhile, you're chowing down on that breakfast. How's it going? Might just bring the bowl back to the middle. Hmm? You love your oats, don't you? And feed her mostly oats soaked in um, almond milk or oat milk overnight. And that's been her breakfast for like, it, yeah, pretty much that's her staple breakfast now. Um, and then my mum came a couple of weeks ago and renewed our stocks of baby porridge, the Bellamy's baby porridge. So she has that kind of as a backup. And then I've tried to induce, introduce um, some jam and toast as well, but this is what goes down the best and pretty much what she has every day. Oh, you need another spoon, do you? You need another spoon. Oh, two at once. Naturally. Good girl. It's Sunday, so Daddy's going for a run. Good. A very late run. Very late one because of little Missy sleeping in, didn't you? Hey, but we don't really mind. Although Daddy's probably going to mind in this heat. It's going to be hot. Alright, Dad's just left for a run. And while I was gluing videos together, little Miss ate her whole bowl of cereal, I can't believe it. So we're giving you some bananas. It took me a long time to figure out how to give Amelia bananas, but I cut them into quarters sort of lengthwise now, and that makes them small enough to get in her mouth. She doesn't like the rounds. She's never liked the rounds. So yeah, once I figured that out, it's, it's been great. Okay, and also in France, they have sachets of pureed banana. Um, which she loves. It's got a dash of lemon juice in it and that really helped positively introduce bananas as well. So if anyone's struggling with bananas, maybe do that. They're no, they're delicious, aren't they, Bubs? They're very ripe, so we need to eat them. Mm. Oh, good work. Good work. All right, avoiding some poo. I made it out of the house. We've got a quickly run to the shops before they close because it's Sunday and it is 11.43 so I think they may close in 50, either 15 minutes or 45 minutes. I'm really hoping 45 minutes. Quite seriously though, Bordeaux is just such a lovely city to, uh, to be in. We, we're just around the corner from the street and uh, it's kind of the road that leads down to the opera and the, the main place and yeah we just feel so privileged and I mean look at this architecture I'm sorry it's so bumpy it's because I'm pushing the pram at the same time but yeah it's just it's beautiful and we're very grateful 